can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day, every single day, for years on end. And that's what keeps an entire tiny meta running like a perfectly tuned machine. That's the Queen Bee. Sounds like sci-fi, but it's just another day in the bee meta. A world where every unit is born with one role, and the entire squad runs like a pre-coded empire. A single queen bee can spawn an entire generation of warriors, workers, caretakers, and bodyguards, none of whom ever question orders. And the worker bees, even though they'll never get to reproduce, they'll spend their whole lives grinding and won't hesitate to sacrifice themselves just to protect the eggs of one single queen. The world of bees isn't just about flowers and sweet honey. It's a miniature universe where power, life, death, and the fate of tens of thousands of players are decided by a few wing flaps and a couple drops of pheromones. How can a creature smaller than your fingertip run a society more organized than humans? And what secret makes the beehive one of the most sustainable and successful biological systems on the planet? Where's the secret? Are you ready to step inside the hive? Open the world where the mysteries are revealed, what you have never imagined. Silverbacks are surprisingly chill. They only fight when challenged or provoked, but once they lock in, it's full send. The main character here is the queen bee, not some queen sitting around doing nothing, but a real egg laying machine. At peak season, she can lay over 2000 eggs a day, nearly matching her own body weight. He is the meta, a full tank boss unit who can't be ignored, can't be bullied, and doesn't need backup. And if the egg isn't fertilized, it hatches into a drone, a male bee with one sole mission in life, to fly high, mate with a queen, and then die. So what about the hive? Tens of thousands of bees live together in tight quarters, yet there's almost never chaos. No pushing, no fighting, no one stealing power. Everything follows a pheromone system, the biological scent the queen bee releases, as long as the queen is alive and healthy, this scent spreads throughout the hive, keeping the whole colony stable. But if the queen weakens or dies, the whole hive immediately senses it and starts the process of creating a new queen. The way they do it is just as magical. From a normal egg, if the workers decide it should become queen, they'll feed the larva royal jelly nonstop, a special substance that flips the genetic switch to develop it into a queen bee. No special genes, no magic. Just the right diet at the right time is enough to turn an ordinary individual into the supreme ruler. Here's something else you should know. The hive has no trash, no freeloaders, and no slackers. A worker bee will work nonstop from birth until death, usually just a few weeks. Each individual lives a short life, but is always ready to sacrifice itself if the colony is in danger. Even more, if the hive is attacked, the worker bees rush out like suicide warriors. Wondering how they fight? What weapons they use? I'll get to that right now. If you think bees just make honey and buzz around flowers, you're seriously underestimating one of the deadliest weapons in the insect meta, the stinger. Don't let their tiny size fool you. Behind those delicate wings is a weapon system that can terrify any enemy. A worker bee's stinger is like a living hypodermic needle, tiny but deadly effective. When it stings, the bee doesn't just jab and pull away. It leaves the stinger, venom glands, and a sac that keeps pumping poison into the wound, even if the bee has flown off or died. Here's the twist and the tragedy. That stinger has barbs. It works like a one-way spear, easy to drive in, but pulling it out drags out the bee's insides. That's why worker bees usually die right after stinging. And if you think only worker bees know how to fight, you're wrong. The queen has a stinger too, and she uses it for the most ruthless mission in the hive, killing off rival queens before they even hatch. In the bee dynasty, only one queen is allowed to reign, and the queen often personally takes out potential rivals from the egg stage. Yep, a tiny weapon that plays a life or death role in the entire survival strategy of the colony. But the special stuff doesn't stop there. Honeybees communicate through dance, when scout bees find a new flower source, they return to the hive and perform a waggle dance 
at a specific angle and frequency, each movement encoding a precise message about the flower's location. And if you think humans were the first to use maps, bees have been doing it millions of years before us. Bees are the definition of support class mains. They don't just gather resources, they manage hives, coordinate swarms, and optimize food flow like a walking RTS game. But not all bees play support. Just when you think you've figured out the bee meta, here comes the wildcard bill that breaks the mold. Enter the wasp. Unlike bees, wasps don't lose their stinger after one hit. They can sting you once, twice, 10 times, and then fly away like nothing happened. Mobility, small frame, big agility. Wasps are high-speed units with insane reaction time. They fly, dodge, hover, dive. Basically, the dogfighters of the insect world. Wasps don't play defense. Their whole strategy is get in, sting fast, assert dominance, repeat. They'll attack prey, predators, or even just you for looking suspicious. They've even been seen hunting spiders, paralyzing them, and dragging them back to their nest as live food for their larvae. That's not survival. That's full-on villain arc behavior. Wasps don't try to be liked. They don't try to survive quietly. They spawn in, gear up, and cause instant PvP chaos. If bees are support class healers, wasps are the DPS mains that rage queue every match. The greatest strength of bees isn't just their venom, it's their team spirit. When one individual is threatened, the whole swarm is ready to jump into battle. By now you might be thinking, wow, bees are the ultimate super species. But in reality, behind all that power and masterful organization, bees have critical weaknesses, gaps big enough to bring down an entire hive if exploited correctly. Understanding this makes the world of bees not only amazing, but also incredibly fragile. They're extremely sensitive to temperature. Too hot or too cold seriously disrupts their activity and lifespan. And in panic situations, the swarm can lose control, unable to tell friend from foe, causing chaos and disorientation throughout the hive. It's not uncommon for bees to attack even their own teammates because of misunderstood signals. Small but mighty, silent yet formidable. Bees aren't just a symbol of hard work. They're living proof of the magical balance between individual and community, between sacrifice and survival. A creature willing to sacrifice its life just to protect the hive. An army that can fly, coordinate, and communicate without a single word. And a creature that can make humans, despite all our advanced technology, stand in awe of its perfect social structure. So next time you see a bee buzzing by, don't just think about honey. Remember, you're witnessing a true warrior, a tiny biological marvel that's been thriving for 30 million years. See, bees may be small, but they pack a serious punch, right? If you're as amazed as I am by these facts, don't hesitate to drop a comment and share your thoughts. What do you find the coolest about bees? Or maybe you know some other cool secrets about bees that we haven't talked about yet? And if you want to keep exploring even stranger, smarter, or even more dangerous creatures than bees, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video, because the animal kingdom still has tons of jaw-dropping surprises waiting for you.